Hey everyone, it's Dr. Elizabeth. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here and welcome to this week's episode of Skinny Dipping in the Fountain of Youth where I share with you my secrets on how to be undeniably radiant, beautiful, youthful, and sexy. <laughs> at every age. I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you so much for all your beautiful comments. Thank you for visiting my channel. Thank you for watching the videos. Uh, I make them for you guys, so it's really wonderful um, to have you guys come visit and enjoy them and comment on them. So thank you so much. So today's episode I entitled Three Secrets to Dealing with Life's Challenges. That's a big one, and I decided to do that because um, a lot of you guys watched my video last week. I took you all on a field trip to the grocery store <laughs> and taught you guys ways to begin to eat healthier and live a healthier life, and I got to thinking about this, and what I realized is a lot of people already know. Now, some, of, some people don't know all the secrets, and there's a lot to eating a healthy life and how to choose the right foods and, and all that good stuff. But there are people out there who already know what to eat. And so I was thinking like, okay, so here's a group of people. They already know what to eat, but they're not choosing it now. So I began wondering, well, why not? <laughs> why are they not choosing it? And how can I share what I know to help um, you guys watching so that you can choose it? Because when you choose a healthier lifestyle, you begin to foster and develop and embody and live this really extraordinary life. And that's what I want for all of you guys. So I thought about it. Okay, well, what challenge is lying underneath not being able to embrace that kind of lifestyle? So what I did was I brought my, <laughs> I brought my Dr. Elizabeth toolbox. And in this toolbox, I have Three secrets. Three secrets to help you deal with life's challenges. So let's go ahead and get started. So, secret number one. You guys ready? <laughs> you guys ready? Secret number one. Guess what it is? Okay, you guys comment below. I want you. I want to hear what your guesses were. So go ahead and comment below when you guys are done watching the video. And I want to see if you guess properly what the first one was. So here it is. Choice. Secret number one is choice. I'm going to put that right there. Secret number one, choice. I know I use the word amazing, incredible a lot because I think life is amazing and incredible. I just took that breath. That's amazing and incredible. I mean, truly, <laughs> the fact that I'm sitting here in this physical body and speaking to you through a little camera on a computer that was designed by some genius named Steve Jobs, here's to you Steve Jobs, um, it is amazing. Uh, the fact that I have eyes to see is amazing. I mean, it makes me cry when I think about it. The, the preciousness of my life, no matter what, oh my God, see I'm crying. <laughs> I didn't mean for the video to start out like this, but the preciousness of our life, truly, the fact that we have a heartbeat is amazing. And when we begin to look at our life from that vantage point, from that place of, of pure awe and inspiration and enthusiasm and, and um, amusement and delight and gratitude and appreciation and thanksgiving, it's a really delicious way to live life. And here's the real secret, you guys. <laughs> Trust me, I know this one. I've been on the planet for 56 years. I have learned this one along the way. The more we can embrace and embody the, all those qualities that I just mentioned and that way of being, the more extraordinary life we get to experience. It's, the power is in us to choose that. It's, I say this all the time, but it's the reason why, mm, it's so incredible, it's the reason why I decided that my first chapter would be choice, because it's a choice. People, people I'm going to the gym, it's five o'clock in the morning, and they're like, why are you so bright, or why are you so chipper? 
And I say, it's a choice. I'm so grateful I woke up. I'm so grateful that I can use these eyes to see and this heart to feel. I'm so grateful for that. And so when we can really be in that and choose that, uh, it is a very fantastic, extraordinary, and delicious life. And what happens is that when we choose it, remember I say, we are at every moment at zero point, infinite possibilities for our lives. So when we choose that at every moment, it takes us on an upward expansion of more of that. But if at the same moment, there's lots of options. <laughs> yeah, we have limitless options in the direction of expansion and in the direction of, you know, the pejorative downhill cycle and, you know, restriction. The opposite of expansion would be, you know, constriction. So when we choose expansion, we get more expansion. It just takes us along that way. More expansion and more expansion. That's why I say small changes equal miraculous results because that change, if we're here, let's say we're going, let's say we're just going this direction. And when we choose that, that one thing there, that takes us on a different direction, one of expansion. But let's say at the same moment, if we decide to complain about something, or if we decide to get upset about something, or because all those things are options are there. But what are we going to choose? And in what we choose is the result of what we get to experience. So, secret number one, choice. Let's see if you guys can guess what secret number two is in my little toolbox of secrets. You guys want to guess? <laughs> Go ahead, guess below. <laughs> so I want to see if I want to see how many of you guys guess properly. So, secret number two is let's see if you guys can guess. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Mm, so, secret number two is amusement. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys a funny story that wasn't funny about ten minutes ago, but. <laughs> I had to find some amusement with it. So I'm going to put amusement right here. I'm going to tell you my little story. So I recorded this whole thing already. And when I uploaded it into Final Cut Pro, <laughs> I realized that it stopped recording right at this moment where I'm picking up right now. <sighs> so I had to find amusement with the fact that this whole wonderful recording that I did for you guys is lost into the ethers forever. So <laughs> I had to do it again. So I had to dig into my own toolbox, my Dr. Elizabeth toolbox. <laughs> what happens when it gets challenging? I had to choose and I had to reach for amusement. And I'll tell you, I can't tell you yet, but I had to reach for the third secret as well. So <laughs> I needed to share that with you guys because it wasn't funny about 10 minutes ago. And you'll see in the outtakes and the blooper, <laughs> My face on the recording when I realized that I lost half the recording. You guys will laugh. You guys will have some amusement about that. So this clip you guys are about to see is my actual reaction that was caught on tape. It's pretty funny. <sighs> Did that not record? Oh my god, no. <laughs> so let's talk about amusement for a second. Challenge. The energy of challenge vibrates. That it challenge, anger, frustration. All those energies vibrate at a very low frequency. They're like, wah, wah, wah. they vibrate low like that. So amusement, joy, love, bliss, all of those happiness vibrate at a very high frequency. So when you are in a challenge and you're feeling those low vibrational energies, if you can just reach for a higher vibrational frequency, if you can just reach for amusement, even if you can't find joy, if you can just reach for amusement, if you can find some sort of amusement in the situation, what happens is that as you reach for that higher frequency, it brings your energy out of that low vibrational frequency up here. And like our dear friend Albert Einstein once said, a challenge can never be solved at the level of the challenge. 
So in other words, it can never be it can never be solved at the level of that low vibrational frequency. You have to raise your own energy out of that low frequency to a higher frequency, and from that, I call it mount in my book, uh, Skinny Dipping in the Fountain of Youth. I call that mountaintop consciousness because it's like if you're in you know if you're down here in the thick of the forest, you can't see the forest for the trees. But if you raise your frequency to the mountaintop, that's what higher vibrational frequency is, mountaintop consciousness. If you can raise it to there, your vantage point is much greater and you're able to see solutions that you couldn't see when you were stuck here. Thus, first we choose in. Number two, we reach for amusement, no matter what the situation is. If you can find some amusement in it, I promise you it's going to help whatever life's challenge you find yourself in. Number three. Let's see if you guys can guess it. Ooh, this is such a good one. Number three. What is the third secret to um, third secret to helping solve life's challenges? Okay, you guys ready? Okay, guess below. I want you guys to guess below. I want to see how many guys guess this right and I'm gonna be checking so make sure you guys make a note in there okay number three gratitude this is huge huge and I know you guys know this I know you guys know this when we can find one thing to be grateful for you know everyone goes through challenges no matter no matter what the no matter whose life you're looking at. Everyone faces challenges. And sometimes they're greater than others. But everyone goes through times that are challenging. And everybody has, even amongst happy times, there's always challenges going on. And so when we can find gratitude and appreciation for what we do have, it's like the amusement. It raises our vibrational frequency. And what happens is, let's say we're in a challenge. And you can just, as you wake up in the morning, instead of staying in the energy of the challenge, you list five things you're grateful for before you go to sleep at night. Five things you're grateful for, or even three things you're grateful for. As you, I'm grateful for my heart that beats, you know, blood through my whole body. I'm grateful for my eyesight. I'm grateful for my loving friends. I'm grateful for... Um, this bed that I can sleep in at night, or whatever that, whatever it is, I'm grateful for. Whatever it is, find three to five things you're grateful for. What happens is that it raises your vibrational frequency, and then more of what you're looking for can be drawn to you. So um, gratitude and appreciation is a wonderful, wonderful secret for moving ourselves out of the challenge and into manifesting what it is that we want. So if you guys have any questions, I know this is kind of a deep subject, if you guys have any questions about this, go ahead and message me below. We'll be talking, definitely we're going to be talking more about this topic because no matter what it is we want to manifest in our life, from a healthier body to a healthier lifestyle, um, healthier food choices, uh, healthier relationships, um, more creative expression in our life, in our relationships, or in our divine employment, our work, no matter what it is that we're wanting to create and manifest in our life, these tools are powerful to help us do that. So we're going to be talking a lot more about this. So if you have questions, go ahead and um, go ahead and just message me. And um, we're also, just so you guys know, I had a lot of people uh, messaging me, asking me to break down more about healthy food choices. So as we're moving into to the holiday season now, I'm definitely going to be talking more about healthy foods and how we can still attend holiday parties, how we can still be around our families, how we can still move through the holidays and not hide ourselves in the sand so that we don't gain. You know, the average person gains between 5 and 12 pounds during the holiday season and many of those people don't ever lose that weight come January 1st and I don't want that to happen to you. Don't want to happen to any one of you guys. So I'm going to be sharing all of my secrets on how to keep you healthy, strong, sexy, beautiful, radiant, vibrant, youthful during the holiday season and for all of 2016. So until next time, thank you so much for stopping by. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Um, it's my joy 
and my honor and my privilege, truly, to be able to come into your lives and into your world and, um, and to share with you what I have, the information that I have garnered over the last 56 years on this planet. And uh, thank you so much for allowing me to do so. If you like this video and got something from it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. I would love that. And if you really, really like it, <laughs> tell your friends to come on over to the Skinny Dipping in the Fountain of Youth channel and so that they can know all these secrets and tips to having a most magnificent, uh, youthful, radiant, beautiful, and sexy life, no matter what your age. Until next time, take care and happy Skinny Dipping in the Fountain of Youth.